Hey folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to another Facebook Pickups and today I've got quite a lot to show you. Um, I've been going a bit crazy on Facebook. I've been sort of been going along to all these Facebook groups, Retro Realm, um, Sega Galaxy and all these kinds of groups. So, I have quite a bit to show you. So I'm just going to sort of race through these because the battery on the camera is about to die. Um, first load of things that I picked up quite a wee while ago, um, just after I got that SNES bundle, you saw in my last video, um, was a PSP bundle. So a guy who was selling this, he was selling it for £12 all in. I thought, I've it, brilliant, because of course I'm into collecting some PSP at the minute, so more than happy with that. So first game is Star Trek Tactical Assault. Um, brilliant, yeah, fully, well not say fully complete, not fully complete, doesn't have a manual. Um, but not too bothered about that, so it's good. Next up is Tekken Dark Resurrection. I already have this game, so this is up for trade if anybody wants it. Um, and that is fully complete. So in really good condition actually. So if anybody wants that, let me know. Um, X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse. <coughs> Don't have this one. So really happy to get that in the collection. And that is complete. It's got this little Activision leaflet card in there, but it is uh, all complete through. So that's good. Next is a game I've never heard of, Pursuit Force. Um, awesome. So I'm looking forward to checking that out again. All complete a room. And last is World Tour Soccer Challenge Edition, which I think I got rid of ages ago. I did have one. Um, so I'll keep this one. Because you just never know. I may decide to go for a PSP collection. Who knows? I think that would be rather stupid if I did, but you never know. That is kind of how we go on this channel. Right, um, next up it was uh, a Saturday, it was a Saturday morning and I was just having a little perusal on Facebook, lying in bed, just woke up, thought right, you know, what's happening on Facebook, catching up with the day's events so far um, and I came across on Retro Realm, a guy selling some Wii U games, now I haven't picked up Wii U in a while um, I just don't see them in the wild, they're just, they're just nowhere, which is a shame because I actually quite like the system um, so this guy was selling, I think it was £12 he was wanting for this as well, so I just pounced on it, I thought yeah, having it. Uh, and that is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, uh, for again, for whatever reason, didn't have this one. Now I have been meaning to pick up for a while, I don't think it's complete, um, I think it's missing some stuff. So I've got the, that, um, that, and the points. I've also got a quick start guide. Um, you guys let me know below if this came with a manual or whatever, or is this all it came with? If this is all it came with, then that's cool. If not, you know, I'm going to want to try and get it complete if I can. Um, but yeah, in good nick. Let's have a look at the disc. It's seen the odd finger. But other than that, not bad. So for £12 all in for that as well, yeah, having it. Great. So that gets that one out of the way. Um, and. <coughs> What on these Facebook pages sometimes they do is they sometimes do raffles or auctions. And there's an auction going, and I quite like these Facebook auctions, I think they're really cool. Um, so you have a set amount of time, so say like half eight at night to half nine. Uh, increments go up in like pound bundles each time. And there was a couple of PS4 games the guy was selling, and for whatever reason I bid on this one and I won it. And that is uh, Bound by Flame. I know nothing about it. I just sort of wanted a game. <laughs> it was that, and it was nine pounds. I bid on it. I know I can get it cheaper on eBay. That's why nobody outbid me. But um, it's in really good condition, and uh, I like quite like buying off the Facebook groups as well because you know you're getting a bit of guarantee there. You know, if something's not good, um, you know you can just sort of send them a message, send it back, whatever. Um, but it's another PS4 game to the collection, so nine pounds, not bad. Um, so yeah, happy enough with that. Um, last load of games that I got, I do have something else I'm going to show you, which I bought earlier on, but um, I'll show you that in a minute. But I bought a bunch of games off a guy last week. I say last week, but the time this video is up, it's probably going to be about three weeks ago. Um, so I bought it on... Doo -doo 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 -doo. It would have been about the 2nd of August. Um, but it just came today, which is the 7th. I'm shooting this video, so God knows when this is up. So you'll get the length of time I upload videos on by that. So it is the 7th of August today, so God knows when this is going to actually go on YouTube. Um, but I bought a load of games off of him. I bought four Mega Drive games and two PlayStation 1 games off this guy. So I'm going to show you the PS1 games first. Um, they are, well, C12, Final Resistance, 
I always see this game and I never pick it up. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to do it this time. You only wanted like £3 for it. So, wasn't Argon. It actually, the whole bundle works out at just under £3. I think it's like £2.90 or something like that. Um, it's fully complete. Uh, it's, it's got all its leaflets. It's in really good condition. Yeah, I'm not going to argue. That's good. I haven't heard great things about it, but I want to try it. Uh, next is Extreme Ghostbusters The Ultimate Invasion just because I don't have the game and I think I missed out on it in an auction actually um, so yeah I wanted it so that, that was it that was the reason I got that so manual and disc all good and now moving on to the Mega Drive games um, first we have Marble Madness love Marble Madness uh, I think it's a really good game so Happy to have that. I have it on the Master System and I have it on the NES. I believe it's on the NES. Um, I have it on something else. Yeah, I think it's the NES. Um, I could be wrong, but yeah, Marble Madness. Um, Last Battle, which I think I have, but I didn't have a manual. And this one's in much better condition than the one I have anyway. I know mine's quite dirty, so really pleased with this. And it's, it's almost pretty much brand new. Um, just of course it's missing the hanging tab, but I'm not bothered with that. So, Last Battle, fantastic. It's a game that I really like the look of, I love the artwork for it. It's quite basic, but I like it. Um, Kid Chameleon, which I had a loose cart of, but I didn't have it complete. Um, I'm going to need to get the inlay replaced, which is a shame, because the front and the back of it is really good, it's just the sun fading on the side. Bummer, but there you go. Um, we open it up, it's in fairly good nick. The manual has seen the odd thumb or two. You know, but the cart's in better condition than the one I had, so I'm going to be putting my one up for trade, um, which is a little bit dirtier than that. But yeah, really happy to get that one, because that's one of the Mega Drive games I really want to try. So it's good. And last is Gunship, which, if I'd known the condition of, I probably wouldn't have bought it. It's, it's really water damaged in the front, ripped, rippled. Um, it's a little bit faded on the side. Um, back of it's alright. But uh, if we open it up, the manual is shredded um, to bits and the cart's not in great condition either but you know it's just one of those you just sort of take a punt on it I don't really see the photo properly but hey for what I paid for it it'll do until I get a better condition one I am kind of interested in picking up a Mega Drive collection now I'm kind of getting in that mood um, I think it's just because I'm coming to the end of the Master System now and I'm kind of wanting to keep it going if you know what I mean um, I'm still Mega Drive I'm I'm kind of half and half what I want to do with it. Um, I think if I'm going to collect it, I'm just going to be collecting games that I really want to get. I'm not going to be going for the fillers. Um, I'm certainly not going to go for a full set. I mean, that's just a no-go. But, um, yeah, I'm quite keen on picking up quite a lot of Mega Drive. So you might be seeing a lot of Mega Drive coming soon. Um, talking about Mega Drive, this is the last thing I'm going to show you. Um, again, going by auction, I was uh, from a seller called Amanda Blake. She's an admin on Retro Realm. She put up... Uh, this item for auction um, and I thought I've seen it in Asda and it goes for about 50 quid so I thought it's gonna, probably going to go for about that so I put in a cheeky bid of about I think it was 33 pounds I think something like that uh, and I won which I was shocked about and that is the Sega Mega Drive classic game console with 80 built-in games it's in brilliant condition um, I'm really pleased with it but of course with these consoles <coughs> It comes with a load of games that were never Mega Drive games on it, um, and they are usually just shit. But it comes with some really good games, um, and some games I've never tried, like Arrow Flash. Looking forward to checking that one out. Decap Attack, um, Columns 3, never played that. So, some great games as well. All the Sonic, Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3, Golden Axe 1, 2, and 3, um, Rise Star Kick Chameleon, ESWAT, Eternal Champions, great game. Um, Flicky, Game Ground, Crackdown. Comic Zone, brilliant game as well, so it's got some quality games on it, and I think that's why it still fetches a pretty good price on it. So I'm just going to open it up quickly so you guys can see all what's inside it, because it is super light. So it just sort of flicks open at the front there, so you've got the manual uh, from At Games, you've got the actual console itself, um, not bad, pretty good, and two wireless controllers. There's one of them, the other one's exactly the same, it's obviously got all the hookups. So that's pretty decent, so I'm not arguing with that, really good. I've got a little space actually next to my TV that this will actually sit in. It fits in perfectly, I can't get a normal Mega Drive in there, but... And the good thing about this as well, 
um, is it plays cards as well. So you can play games that aren't on the system. So that is just fucking awesome. So it's like a Mega Drive 3 for me, or well, I should say Mega Drive 4 because there is a Mega Drive 3 um, out there. But I'm really pleased with that. So that was ace. So for £33, more than happy with that. I mean, that's just an absolute bargain for me. But that's it. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm surprised this video's actually lasted on the batteries. <laughs> Uh, if I'm being honest, but um, like I say, please rate, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think was the best thing I got out of that bundle. I personally think it was a classic game console. I think it would be well with that, the Mega Drive one. Um, let me know what you think about my thoughts on the Mega Drive. What games do I really need to go for? Because um, I'm really interested in picking up some good quality titles for it. Now I can play Mega Drive more, um, more easily. Um, and yeah, and that's it. So thanks very much for watching. Again, please rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my other Facebook pickups. I need to do a playlist for this one, this series, because for whatever reason I haven't done it. Same with my Sunday booting video, um, which I'm hoping I'll get back to doing soon. Um, it's just sort of coming to that time of year now that it's sort of running down a little bit and I've kind of missed it. But um, hopefully I'll get there soon. But in the meantime, I'm still taking part in raffles on Facebook, so I may have another Facebook pickups video coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. But um, thanks again for watching. Have a great gaming weekend and I will see you soon. Bye for now.